Hi, this is Alex Olbrich. In this video, we're going to cover the process of creating views in BSM for the purposes of uh, using them in dashboards, uh, top views, uh, service help hierarchies, and so forth. So, when we log into BSM, we're generally taken to a My BSM section of the application. And from there, we'll navigate to RTSM Administration. And from here, the Modeling Studio will load. If it doesn't load, you can select this little down arrow and choose it from the menu. And to start with, we'll begin with a pattern view. And we're going to create a new query, so we'll say OK. Make a little space here. So in this case, we're going to create a pattern view that represents our BSM environment. We'll begin with the node. And we will filter it. Drag this into the screen here. With the display label. Now there are other ways to create more dynamic signature based views. That's kind of outside of the scope of this particular video, but maybe coming along shortly. So we're going to use a wildcard. So we need to select like, ignore case. Say OK. And we'll use the calculator button to see how many we have. In this case, we have three. Now, if we wanted to preview it, we could also then see what we have. Let me uh, again resize this to fit. In this case, we have the DP, a probe, and a gateway. Pretty typical uh, BSM setup. So we will save this. And we will call this BSM view. Now we could also, if we wanted to, add other um, relationships to that. So for example, if we wanted to uh, show what this looks like, uh, it's connected to a database. How many databases are connected? In this case, it's telling us that there are none. Uh, what we probably can do, or should do, is adjust the cardinality. And this basically just describes what the, the legal connections are. So in this case, node to node, if we're saying it has to have one or more, well, in this case, there might not be one or more. Some of them might not have any connection or other dependencies. So in this case, we can see that these three nodes have zero connections or dependencies on any nodes with a database. delete them. And we'll save it again. And we'll create another another view. And in this case, let's select databases. And for the sake of this, we'll just say we're going to select all databases and the nodes that they reside on. And how we link these is first we select on the node, and then I'm going to use Control-Click to select the second node, and then I'll right-click 
with my mouse to add a relationship. So we have eight nodes with 11 databases. There's a little organization tool to help better see this, and that's this one right here. Refresh to get optimal layout. And that'll show things in a hierarchical format. So we'll take the databases and we want to group them by node. And this way they'll appear uh, kind of folded up underneath the node when we look at them later. And we'll call this DB view. Now that we have a couple of views, let's turn them into a business model. In this case, we're going to use a pattern based model. And we're going to make a business application. We'll name it Test Business Application. And maybe we'll call it model. And we'll make sure that they can fit this all on the screen here so you can see it. So we're going to select business. We're going to put give it a name. It's all that's required for a business application. And at the bottom we'll say next. And we're going to create a new query. And there's a finish button. We'll select that. And it's just actually like the view that we were looking at before. So what we can do is right click, copy, paste, we'll go to our DB view, we'll highlight everything, copy, and paste. And then what we'll do is right click on the nodes and we'll say add to model output. That allows these nodes, whenever this test BA model uh, model is used in the tool. It'll allow these nodes to be kind of the um, the output. So if you think of it in a in an object uh, oriented fashion, these uh, nodes will be uh, basically standard out for when this model is executed. So these views are the queries. This is the object. This is the output of the object. And we'll save it. And we'll just save the same query name. And now we have a model. Now if we want to see all of this data in a, a larger level view in a dashboard, only the views, these queries, are actually visible in the dashboard. So what we're going to do is create another pattern view. We'll create a new query. And then we're going to capture all of this that's in this uh, model. We'll copy it. And then we'll come and paste it in here. And we'll make sure to organize this again so it's folded up properly or grouped properly. And we'll save it. Call this test app view. Just picking an arbitrary name. In order to then visualize this in a dashboard, we'll go back to my BSM. And generally, in top view is a commonplace to see that. Test that view. And now we have the view in a dashboard type configuration that's visible. Additionally, in the event perspective, like your OMI view, we can also use that 
newly created view to filter events test app view and it'll display of course the nodes and their databases and so these this view can actually be used in any of these uh, pages that allow you to select views as a means to filter uh, events or data.